Okay, so this is part three of building a Verona plugin. And uh, I'm doing the iOS first, and uh, then I'll do the Android version of it. And what we're trying to build is a TapJoy install. So basically, we're just going to initialize the, the Tap, TapJoy library so that if uh, you're paying for advertisement, they track. Uh, the installs. So this is where we left it and before I get too ahead of myself I'm just going to comment uh, the entire thing and make sure that it builds. And it does build. So I don't have any glaring mistakes. This is like the um, Bob Ross painting. I have not uh, coded ahead of time. I'm just coding as we go. Now the second thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to comment out for now uh, the notifications and the connectors so that I don't mm, bother with that implementation. And I'm not even sure that will be part of the the video because it's not really related to making a plugin for Corona. And now what I'm going to do in this method, um, this method is going to accept two parameters. Uh, the first one is uh, the key, and the second one is whether it's uh, set for debug or not. Usually, I would put that in a table, uh, but that's more complicated when it comes over to this side. And for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to assume that you're going to provide these two parameters one next to each other in the call to connect from the Moolah side. So the first parameter is going to be a string, and it's going to be the, the key. And uh, I'm going to call it tap joy key. And string. And this is the, the L that comes in, the Moolah state. And this is the index. So we're going to make it the first parameter that comes in. I guess I have to type in that it's an L. So this is the Lua state that comes in, you see? And, uh, and I'm saying that it's index 1. And the second parameter that's going to come in is, uh, is it going to be debug? And again, state, and then index because it's the second parameter. Now, um, now this is pretty easy, right? Because this accepts, I believe, a boolean. So all I have to do is pass it in that is debug, and um, and the tap joy connect is uh, in a string. So I'm gonna have to convert that uh, constant car into and then a string, or cast, I'm not, not sure what the appropriate terminology is. So I'm going to remove this. String weight format is it the right one? Oh, a C string. And then the constant car, which is uh, tap joy key. And then the encoding. Um, I'm gonna try UTF-16. And when we run this, we'll find out if it poses a problem. And I'm going to build. And make sure that it's running, and it and it ran successfully. So what I want to point out to you here, right? We're passing two parameters to this: uh, tap joy to string, and is debug, uh, so that we could pass it into into these two, into set debug and the connect. Um, this is uh, now I give you a public announcement, right? Uh, 
if this is critical to what you're doing, I mean, this is fine if you're learning, but if this is critical, I would recommend that you get somebody that needs you by the support for Corona because they would help you out. Uh, and it's not that expensive. I don't, I think it's like 400 honors a year, 600 honors a year. That being said, also, if you were doing this for an actual plugin, um, you would check to make sure that you're actually getting a value here and that it isn't null. But otherwise, this is how it works. I'm going to see if I could get away with not implementing the, the connection. And so the next uh, video, I'll show you how to run this from Lua.